Once upon a time in the project. Homeboy in a homemade bungalow In the middle of the end of the day In one way Living clock toilets, Barry Eleven clock toilets today. That's a janitor's dozen. <sighs> the only thing that gets me through days like this is knowing that I get to come home to you. Oh, they're good. <sighs> if only toilets went down as smooth as you. They're good. Here's your mail. Uh, let's see, Bill. Bill. Tickets to the NBA Finals. <laughs> Keep trying, FBI. Keep on trying. Hey, Martin Super Quarterly. Oh, boy, it's a super sort of big tenement issue. Get real. No super has a body like this. It's all airbrush. Oh. Oh, please. That hammer's obviously free. Oh. Look at that porcelain goddess. Heaven must be missing a toilet. What is it, Thurgood? It's a toilet. A toilet that never needs plunging. Look here, it says, Our patented power flush technology is guaranteed to eliminate even the toughest clog or your money back. Off of Void in Texas. Muriel, think of all the free time I have if we get this thing. I'll finally be able to finish grad school. Thurgood, that's grade school. Well, either way, I'm gonna be whooping some dodgeball ass. Next! <clears throat> yeah, John, I'm here to requisition a Grandmaster Flush, the toilet of tomorrow. Fine. Come back tomorrow. Next! Hey, 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 hey. Now, hold on. We both know how this works. I ask for something, you say next. I say, uh. We go back and forth a few times, next, ut, uh, next, ut. Uh. So why not just give me the toilet and save us both a lot of trouble? What do you say? Next! Uh, look, I ain't leaving here without my Grandmaster Flush. According to my records, your building doesn't have enough money left in its budget. So what are you saying? That if I get my budget down and raise some money on my own, the Grandmaster Flush is mine? That and next! <laughs> All right, everybody, calm down. Relax, quiet, quiet down. Now, I called this special meeting tonight because I have wonderful news. I personally have arranged with the good people of HUD to install something very special into our building. What is it, Super? Well, I can't tell you right now. It's a surprise. Oh. What the next surprise is? What is it? No, don't tell us. What is it? No, don't tell us. Maybe it's computers to help us get into college. You want to get into college? You better take up a sport. Didn't you learn nothing from watching Hoop Dreams? Look, all I can tell you is I'm bringing you the future. Is it bleak? I bet it's bleak. Well, could be, could be. You're just going to have to wait and see. <gasps> but the future doesn't come without sacrifices. Sacrifice? Now you're talking my language. I'm not talking about that kind of sacrifice. We need to reduce our expenses, which means cutting back on a few things that are standing in the way of progress. Namely, heat, electricity, and running water. No heat, no water? How do you expect us to live that way? Same as we do now. Oh, really? okay. 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 Great. And mark my words, 1999 will go down as a year the Hilton Jacobs projects entered the 20th century. A whole year early. That sounds good. Bye. They will be so surprised. I figure one way to cut down on the water bill is to just recycle the water we already got. I'm naked and covered in garbage. I have become my father. By installing these low light bulbs, we can save six cents every 35 years. Super, isn't this a little unsafe? Oh, please, nobody ever died from stumbling around a dark hallway. Ah! I broke something. You broke it, you bought it. Ah! Thurgood, how long do we have to live like this? I can't turn on the stove to heat up my hot comb. I can't turn on a light to put on my makeup. 
It's a good thing it's dark. I probably look a fright. Muriel, you look beautiful in any light. <laughs> ah, don't eat me! Thurgood, really? This nonsense has got to stop. I can't stop now. We haven't saved enough money to buy the toilet yet. What else can we do? We've done everything but sell the building back to HUD. Hey, that gives me an idea. Muriel, turn that off. See there now, I forgot what I was going to do. <laughs> People, I am happy to announce that our plan was a success and we have met our goal. Just from cutting back on electricity? Well, that and I sold some unneeded luxury items back to HUD. Luxury items? Like what? Uh, well, just a few non-essentials like the uh, handicapped access ramp and the lighted exit sign, the smoke detectors, the furnace, the fire escape. Help! Somebody put me out! And uh, the fire extinguishers. Now, everybody, come with me. It's time for your big surprise. We'll put you out, Mr. Sanchez. Oh, Keep moving. I want to see the surprise. Yes, yes. All right, all right. Is everybody here? Everybody here? All right, good. Okay, Calvin, drum roll, please. Behold, the only thing greater than myself. burns over 80% of my body for a toilet. Not just any toilet. This is the Grand Master Flush. But we had no water, no electricity. I went a whole month without shaving my legs. Yeah, and wasn't it worth it? What kind of idiot would put a toilet in an elevator? A thinking man's idiot. I made it centrally located for everybody's convenience. What do we need a communal toilet for? We got a perfectly good outhouse on the corner. What? We ain't got no outhouse. Just one more question. How far up your ass do you want my boot? Now what are you people rushing me for? The toilet's over there. Greetings. I am the Grand Master Flesh. <gasps> hey, it talks. <laughs> a talking toilet. I pulled that same con 50 years ago at the San Bernardino County Fair. Where's the midget in the tank? Hey, look, it's not a con. It really talks. The seat is a jar. The seat is a jar. It's possessed. I like it. They could have made his voice sound more human. That's nothing, folks. Now get a load of this. Hello, Thugger. Hello, Flushy. Why don't you tell me a little bit about myself? He's the superintendent of the Hilton Jacobs building in the projects. And between naps in the boiler room and watching TV all day, he manages to get his hands down a few toilets. Sorry, girls. He's taken. Isn't that fantastic? And it's a Xerox machine. Damn, that's pretty good resolution. Ooh. Of course, the best feature of all is this bowl never gets clogged. What if you flush down the gutted entrails of a middle-aged superintendent? It just rinses right away. So what do you say? Should we keep the toilet? I say we got ourselves a house party. <laughs> Hear that, Muriel? Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. The phone hasn't rung all day. I don't have no tenants calling me up and complaining about their clogged up toilets. I think somebody owes somebody an apology. Thurgood, I supported the idea of the Grand Master Flush. I'm waiting. Thur I'm sorry. That's okay, Muriel. You weren't the only non-believer. HUD didn't want to give it to me either. Nerve of them. And they got the audacity to call themselves the Help Us Department. HUD stands for the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Housing and urban development? That would be H-A-U-D. Look, don't be ignorant, Muriel. Do you really think the government of the USOA would leave out a and? Now, excuse me while I write HUD an angry letter. Hmm. Here is HUD. <clears throat> How are you? I am fine. But you are not so fine. If you really want to help the little people, and I don't mean the Project Elves that put clean socks and underwear in my drawer while I'm sleeping. Project Elves? I put... Muriel! Writing. 
It's time you see to it that the basic human needs like freedom, equality, and talking toilets are made available to everyone. Especially talking toilets. Sign your humble servant, Thurgood O. Stubbs, Esquire. Thurgood, are you sure? Still writing. See it with a lick, cause a kiss don't stick. Thurgood, shouldn't you be at work? No, I should not. The Grandmaster Flush has handled all my duties, freeing up my time for loftier pursuits like this. I've invented a machine that browns bread by heating it. You mean like a toaster? Where were you three days ago? Thurgood, stop playing with your 40. <laughs> Goody, what's the matter? I'm bored. Bored out of my mind. Ain't nothing to do, Mary. There's plenty to do. Why don't you go ride bikes with Calvin? I can't. We're not friends this week. You know, Thurgood, maybe the Grandmaster Flush could use a checkup. Hey, that's not a bad idea at all. It's been getting a lot of use. I'm sure it could use some maintenance. Last call for Avery party of what? For number two? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you have a reservation? What? And Andrew Jackson, you can drain your Johnson. Look, this is a toilet, not a country club. I can get into a toilet. Cow? Uh, clone your VCR? I think not. Breath freshener? What are those, Tic Tacs? Mm, okay. Get out of here, you tackhead! Finally, I can get my hands back into the toilet where they belong. All systems functional. No further maintenance required. Ever. Huh? Hey, something's gotta be wrong with this thing. Let me take a look here. Please do not touch my lid. You have more germs under your fingernails than I have around my entire rim. What? Look, I'm not gonna stand here and take any of your lid. Well, you are certainly not gonna sip, you filthy, filthy man. Why are you? If you want a ladies' room, I'll take you outside. But what's this? Your resume. You're gonna need it. <laughs> I'm not gonna need any. Oh, it's quilted. How's the toilet, Thurgood? Did it require lots of your skilled maintenance? The toilet was fine. Everything's fine. Fine, 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 fine. You don't like that toilet, do you? Mm. If you don't like it, you can say so. I hate it. I hate it, hate, hate, hate it, hate, hate, hate it. But why? It's out to get me, that's why. It's not out to get you. It's here to make your life easier. That toilet's got your backside. That toilet has put me out of a job, Muriel. Well, it's only a toilet. If you don't want it here, just go down the hut and tell them to take it back. Muriel! Muriel! That's perfect! God, woman, if you were my wife, I'd kiss you. You listen up and you listen good. I want you to call your flunkies and have them hightail it down to my building and get rid of that lousy, stinking latrine. Latrine? Oh, Lord, what has my sister done now? I ain't talking about your sister. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that grand bastard flush. I want it out! The Grandmaster Flush has proven itself to be extremely cost-efficient. Oh, please. I'm ten times more efficient than that thing. And I can prove it, too. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Hmm. I know. An equal contest. Man versus machine. If I win, the toilet goes. And if you lose, it's next door for you. But what's next door? Unemployment. Ha! <laughs> next! Win this contest, Muriel. I can't lose my job. I'm too old to start from the bottom again. Thurgood, this is the only job you've ever had. What about the time I work for the highway department? Community service doesn't count. Welcome to the Man vs. Machine Contest. Today's competition is brought to you by the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Huh, the poor people people. Now, let's get ready to root up! In this corner, at 132 pounds dripping wet, the lean, mean porcelain machine, the great white host, Grand Master Flush. <laughs> and in this corner, with a blood pressure of 240 over 120 and a heart the size of three men, our very own overweight and out of shape, Thurgood Stubbs. <laughs> hmm? Oh. <laughs>
Uh, I tried to sell you, Thurgood, but they ain't buying. Could you please start the contest? All right. We will begin the contest with the clog and other toilets. We've asked the tenants to bring their most clog-worthy items. Mrs. Avery? Cloth diapers. You can't prove they're mine. My weight loss chart. My beloved Esperanza. Oh, no, no. We'll never wear these clothes again. And lastly, though they were very expensive to obtain, some compromising photographs of yours truly, along with the negatives. Now remember, the fastest the declaw keeps his job. Thurgood, you ready? Ready to kick some toilet butt. Then unclog! Uh. I win. Game. Set. Light a match. <sighs> Next! Super! <laughs> I just don't understand it. I never met a toilet I couldn't lick. For good. Don't give up. Oh, there's no sense in trying to cheer me up. I'm a loser. I know, but I really need you to flush down those pictures. Well, I'm surprised it took this long for a toilet to outsmart him. Yeah, loser! <laughs> loser! You'll probably want to leave Hilton Jacobs now. <laughs> and don't let the broken door hit you on the way out. Let's go home and party like it's 1999. Go, go toilet, toilet, go toilet, toilet go toilet, toilet, go toilet. They're good, are you okay? Miriam, I just see this as a minor roadblock on the path of my crusade. And if sobriety checkpoints have taught me anything, it's best to just plow right through. But what will you do? You've lost your job. Ah, oh, now, Muriel, Hood can't just let me go. After all the years of faithful service I've given them? Hell no! No, I'm sure they'll find a position that lets me keep my dignity. Breath mint? Yeah, you could use some deodorant, too. <laughs> well, well, what's going on here? A guy passes out for three days and suddenly he's replaced? This is an outrage. Well, I, I won't stand for it. Great, now I gotta clean that up. Okay, Thurgood. I'm ready to be flushed and cleaned. What? Now, now. It's just till I can think of something more degrading. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, but don't you go getting all hoity toilet with me. I am the superintendent of this building. You were the superintendent. Now you're the washroom attendant. Look, you may have taken my job, but you can never take my dignity. Now move your ball cock if you want me to wipe your rim. I'm such a loser, Muriel. Thurgood, you are not a loser. Look around you. Wait! Stop. Come with me. Thurgood, look at these. Yeah, my trophy. So what? What did you win this one for? Super of the year. Uh-huh. And this one? Well, that's my BME for Lifetime Achievement in Custodial Arts. That's right. And what's on top? Little man with a plunger. That's right! A man! Not a machine, not a space-age toilet, but a man! My man! Yeah, and he's a tough little mother, too. Oh, oh his little head fell off. Thurgood, remember, it's your attitude, not your aptitude, that determines your altitude. Mira, you don't see any trophies for comprehension here. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you're only as good as you think you are. Oh. And you're good. You think you're good. Yeah. But you're going to have to accept that that toilet's here to stay. But remember one thing. Even though that toilet took your job, it can never take what's inside of you. Yeah. It can't take what's inside of me. Wait. Yes, it can. In fact, it must. Uh, Master Flush, do you mind if I come in and have a minute with you? Hello, Thurgood. Oh, so you recognize my voice, huh? Not exactly. Now, what is it you wanted to talk about? Well, I just want to apologize for my behavior yesterday. I was uh, out of control and out of line. Apology accepted. I guess you deserve a little more respect. Oh, by the way, my urinal cake needs to be replaced. Yeah, I got your new squirt cake right here, but I just wanted to clear up, you know, all the... Uh... The miscommunication we've been having about my bad mood. I've been in a bad mood, basically, because I've been taking a lot of crap from the tenants. But 
<laughs> you who am I talking to, right? I don't understand. What do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. I mean, we both kind of get dumped on by the tenants, me figuratively, and you, but uh, the opposite of figuratively. Thurgood, you're not making any sense. Well, I just mean, you know, people come in here and they pull down their pants and their drawers and they climb up on top of you and... And? They do what? Oh my god, that's disgusting! Why? Why? <laughs> I can't believe people do that to me. How did I fall so short of my dream? Well, there, there, flushy, flushy. It's all right. Here you go. <laughs> I wanted to be a figure of beauty. Don't worry, don't worry. It's gonna be all right. Now tell you what, I got a great idea. Somebody stole a toilet! Now, now, calm down. Your John didn't get jacked. Ooh. Oh, 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 man. Man. oh man. Wow! Oh, it's all a commotion! Super turned our toilet into a fountain. You mean it's not in the elevator anymore? Word to the wise, take the stairs! What kind of idiot turns a toilet into a fountain? An idiot with the mind of a child. Oh, now, that is great. so nice. That I guess now we know once and for all that man is better than machine. See that? Well, that's that's right. right. That's oh. the Very good Stubbs Memorial Fountain. Memorial. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yeah, isn't it great? But wait till you see the best part. <gasps> Look at that. His color's changing, girl. Now, what the hell makes blue water turn green? My bad. 